Hello, this is Kate Wisby with Kate Wisby Music. Today we're going to talk about seventh chords and regular triads and inversions. So the first thing we're talking about are not seventh chords. We're just going to talk about just straight triads or a chord. So in C major, C major chord would be C, E, G, right? So a first inversion means that you're going to take the one in the middle, the, the letter in the middle, E, and that's going to become your bottom number, your base number, right? Your base letter, sorry. So it'd be E, G, and C. And that is marked by written a six, a tiny six above. So like, for instance, what I just did, C, E, G, is a regular triad, C major, right? If I were to put an E, G, C and make E the bottom, then it'd be C major six, okay? But if I were to put the highest one, the fifth note in the scale and make it the root position, make it the root, it would be G, C, E. And that would be your second inversion of the chord and you would write it as C major six, four. Right here, or I six, four. So a little overview that we're just doing triads, not seventh chords. C major would be C, E, G in root position. In first inversion, you would start with E and go to G and C. And then in second inversion, you would move it to G on bottom, then C and E. There we go. So the last thing we're gonna talk about today are seventh chord and inversions. So for inversions of seventh chords, you would have your root position seventh chord, so you write a C major seven, and that's a C, E, G, B. That is a C major seven chord. From there, you're gonna do your first inversion. So that means, just like we did before with our triads, you take the third note in the whole um, chord, and that becomes your root position. So it ended up being E, G, B, C. Now, another thing you should know is that actually when you're doing seventh chords, the one, if you're having too many fingers, too many notes, it's just too much, you can eliminate the fifth note inside the chord. So essentially, all you really need for a C major six, five chord, uh, remember that's the first inversion chord, is E, G, and C, and that's it. That would be your first inversion. Then for a second inversion, it's called, uh, it would be 4-3, you put above it. So you'd write C major 4-3, or you'd write the Roman numeral 1-4-3. And for this one, obviously our C major root position was C, E, G, B. Since we're in second position, second inversion, that means the fifth note in the scale, the fifth chord note in the scale is G, right? So that G becomes your root position. So it goes G, B, C, E. And again, like we talked about, if you have too many notes, you're going to eliminate the C because that's the fifth note in the scale. So are you ready? Or you could just do, oh, I'm sorry. That's what I meant to do. That's 4-3 or this is 4-3. And you're just eliminating that C. So then the next one, you did the same thing. You have C major, but this is the third inversion. You write it as C major four two, or you would write one four two. Uh, example of this is that you would have C, E, G, B, which is in your major C major seven chord. But now that B becomes your root. See, the B becomes root. So it goes B, C, E, G. But like I said, you don't need all of them, so you can eliminate the fifth note in there. So it's just B, C, G. So here's all the inversions of C major. You have C major seven. First inversion. Oh, sorry. Uh, good, now second inversion. And then third inversion. Right? So it's different inversions. You would put it in different inversions. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, please email me at katewisbemusic at gmail.com. Again, that's katewisbemusic at gmail.com. I would love to have a seventh chord inversion theory session with you or give you some great theory worksheets that I've created uh, for inversions. So I hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Have a good one. Bye.